There is a rescue mission in Niagara County that's getting a new lease on life thanks to a million dollar grant. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore explains tonight how that money is going to be used and the economic impact it could have now in Niagara Falls. And I, I've never thought I'd be homeless. I'm 53 years old. I thought I'd be living much more comfortable. Gary Williams was only looking for a hot meal and a warm bed when he fell on hard times. But he says living here at the Niagara Gospel Rescue Mission Shelter made him realize that all he really needed was a hand up. Because I met a lot of good people in this place. People with a lot of good skills that need to be re reintroduced to their skills. The rescue mission is giving homeless men like Gary a place to temporarily call home at this old YMCA. Many of them call it the miracle on Portage. And with the help of the staff, um, it's really mending, mending my family back together. Where they can first just get their basic needs met and then get the tools they need to break that cycle of poverty. Leaders of the nonprofit say the need for shelter and food continues to grow in Niagara County. The group recently received a million dollar grant to renovate the shelter, add more rooms, and a kitchen. Emergency shelter, which currently it can be almost up to 50, we should be able to nearly double that. So we could have over 100 people that we're helping at a time here. The rescue mission says that this grant will also help to bring more people out of the cold and give them a warm bed to sleep in. Our, our goal ultimately is to have a, a shelter and long-term program for women and children as well. But right now we don't have the staffing. To do it requires much more staff. You know, this is a, a city that makes its living in the tourism industry, and I think. If people were to come here and see poor people living on the street because they had nowhere to go, that harms the economic development of the city of Niagara Falls. Renovations are expected to be completed in 2018. In Niagara Falls, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.